Hi, I'm Jerry Bechtold here again. Talk to you this time about our static inline mixer. Uh, we have developed quite a few different combinations of mixing, working with the ability of saturation and high flow versus medium or low flow. That's why we've developed these different uh, applications. This is a uh, mixer which will all of the insides of this mixer are basically the same and we'll get into the internals of it. This is our 17 and 12 inch mixers. This is the 12 inch mixers. And I haven't completely put, in this, put this together simply because I wanted to be able to take it apart and show you what we're doing. That's one of our mixers. And we've got the same thing on the other side. So what we're doing is we're introducing water into this and in the chamber we break the water into two streams of water. We do that right here at this point. The water is separated then it br is brought back together to clash into the other side of the water stream. So two water streams come together to create a clash and a mix. Then it's separated again. Same thing, that's what happens on the first side of it. As you can see on this particular mixer, this is what we're looking at. That goes in there like that. You've got your adapter, which goes on that way. This is your mixer on this side. Put that on there. The 12 and the 17 inch mixers are probably the uh, most used by the dealers. Uh, we get above that and there's other reasons that we need a different scenario here. In, as an example, this would be a twin chamber mixer. I'll get back to this in just a second. We've got single chambers like so, which will give you entry water, mixing, swirl chamber to approximately here, and then mixing again. So any of these units, by the way, can be installed laterally, vertically, doesn't really matter. It's not gonna have any adverse effect on the working ability of this product. It can be installed upside down, right side up, doesn't matter. This is our 10 inch mixer but that is 10 inches on both sides. So we're going to mix, swirl chamber, and mix again, return back to the line. We have this in one inch, inch and a half, and even as far as two inch, but this is a typical uh, single mix chamber, which is 21 inches. This particular one is inch and a half chamber. It also has the swirl chamber built internally. All of these products have a swirl chamber built in. That's very important because we're clashing this water together. Then we're separating it into two streams, pushing it down into the next row of chambers or mixers. So you've got mix, swirl, and mix in all of our applications. We get into higher water usage and we come up with something like this. This is one inch, but this has got inch and a half in and out. Now here again, you've got your insert, mix, another insert, and that's on both sides. It, there is no inside, uh, left or right, in and out. It can be installed again. Any of these can be installed anyway, meaning this way, this way, doesn't matter. The twin chambers that we're looking at here are going after one of two things. They're either going after a higher flow rate so that we can get half of the water flow. As an example, let's say we're using 50 gallons of water per minute. So we bring it in, we separate it here, 25 gallons a minute's going this way, 25 gallons a minute's going this way. 
So by doing it that way, we can get twice the contact time for more of a mix and reaction time for the chemical to work on whatever it is you're working with, hydrogen sulfide, iron, whatever. That is available in one inch with inch and a half in and out. It's available in inch and a half with inch and a half, both sides. It's also available in two inch in and out with double inch and a half. So what is going to determine this is your, applica your application in the field. What do, what do I need? Do I need sat more saturation than I do contact time? All of these factors can be dealt with through our rep, which will help you decide on which one of these is gonna be your best application.